Samsung has been part of this event for seven years and it's truly inspirational. I am really excited to present in front of these judges. I was nervous last night, but now we've gone over it a lot, and I know exactly what I'm going to say. They've really prepared for the pitch. There's a lot of good ideas out there. They've worked so hard, they've overcome so much, and they've just stood out and been leaders in our school. This is the hardest job I've ever had as a, as a judge or as a participant in an event because, frankly, all the students are amazing. To win would be great, but just the fact that I'm here right now, that's the best thing in the world. Samsung is making a difference. They're giving us the opportunity to be here, get our message out. Having everybody just help in and come together just really made our hearts feel filled. We knew that this was much bigger than us. We wanted to be able to help. All of it is our community. If you give them a purpose to help others, then, then they work so hard to do it. They always just knock any expectations completely out of the park. I couldn't be more proud of these kids. We also strive to give the teachers and the students a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Today, the students have had a really full day meeting with their congressional leaders, getting Capitol Hill tours, and really learning about the importance that government plays in the education system. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to congratulate Gearing High School, one of three national winners of the 2017 Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. I think Samsung really sees the need for STEAM. They, they see the need for innovation. They, they see the need for young people to become interested in technological fields. It's terrific to see young Texas students excelling, and excelling in science and technology and engineering and math. It's great to see Samsung playing a role in, in hopefully helping inspire young students. Sounds like you're already a winner. Yes, sir. Not just Arizona, but my hometown of Snowflake, uh, that's what's great. I'm just completely impressed with uh, the program and uh, what, they've, what they've accomplished. This is really, really remarkable. We built Samsung Soft for Tomorrow, which is a nationwide contest that invites students and schools from um, grades 6 through 12 to really come up with an idea on their own and that we would be the mechanism and the platform by which they can solve problems in their communities using STEM. We know that the students today are empowered and they feel it's their, their obligation to give back to the world. STEAM education has helped me a lot in solving my own problems and how I think about things. And I really believe that you all, if you continue to be inspired by what you've done this week and you continue to work really hard, that you will be very, very successful. So now we're going to announce the three national winners from this year's Samsung Solve for Tomorrow competition. Snowflake Unified School District in Arizona. Gehring High School, the secondary school for journalism in New York. We're a very athletic based school. So for us to prove to them now that, hey, STEAM is way better than what you guys think it is. I don't think we'll stop talking about this ever. Samsung needs an award for hosting Samsung Software Tomorrow because of how much they care about the youth, how much they are interested and invest time. Nothing's impossible because back home we're in a small town that not a lot of people have heard of. Now being the top three is unbelievable. I did it. We did it. Every one of us did it. A little tiny school in Brooklyn is now the biggest school in Brooklyn.